purpose of today's video is to show you how to navigate through the master built master controller through the face of the controller using these six buttons on the face of the controller. Basically, when you first get the controller, get to the controller, it should be cycling through which mode it's currently in as well as what the room temperature uh, is in the space. So we're in the refrigeration mode right now and the room temperature is 74.7 degrees. To make sure you are at this position, you can hit the back button a couple of times which will bring you to its home point. From there, you can navigate using the right or left arrow buttons across four different columns built into the controller. Basically, you have the manual mode, you have the variables column, you have the alarms column, and the set points column. So to start, we'll tar start with the top of the variables uh, column, which is basically is headed with the room temperature, which again we know is 74.7 degrees. You hit the enter button just to toggle between the two. You can scroll down into this column and you can see different things like the superheat, uh, suction pressure, uh, suction temperature sensor. You can see a variety of different things as you scroll into that column. Now, the relay of the evaporator fan, you know, that condition. You can also find the IP address of the controller. Again, these controllers do have uh, communications capability. The IP address, the first digit is 10, the second digit is 10, the third digit is 65, and the fourth digit is 223 for this particular controller. And again, all I'm doing inside this column is just hitting the enter button and toggling between what uh, the readout is described as and the value of the readout. Again, to get back to the home point, just hit the back button a couple of times and you'll go back to where it will toggle between the current mode of the controller and the room temperature. The next column would be the alarms column. Currently we, we have no alarms, which is what NOAL stands for. If there were a variety of different alarms that were in place, you could toggle up and down to scroll through to see the variety of different alarms that are currently in place. You would also have an amber or a red LED that would light up as well if you did have an alarm in condition. The third column is the set points column. Again, it started with STPT is what the acronym we're using for that. To scroll into that column, you can press the up or down arrow button. It will prompt you for a password if you've not already put in a password. To enter the password, hit the enter button. Change the value of the digits going up and down. The password on this controller is just 0002. Hold the enter button down for three seconds. And now <clears throat> I've entered the password, so the first thing it allow me it will allow me to change is the room uh, set point, which in this condition is minus 10. Hit the back button. So I can see a variety of different set points, minimum run time, minimum off time for the compressor, uh, minimum pressure, uh, different defrost parameters, defrost modes, uh, etc. You can see what those values are, again, what those set points are uh, by doing uh, getting into the set points column. Again, I'm going to hit the back button to get to our home point. The last column I want to show you is the manual modes column. Again, if you've not entered a password, you will have to enter a password by scrolling up or down into that column. I've already entered the password, so it's not going to prompt me for it on this time. We can do things in the manual mode, uh, like manual control. I, mean, I can kick it in from refrigeration mode and defrost to a manual defrost and so on and so forth. Uh, I can manually control the valve, the expansion valve. I can clear alarms. I can bond controllers if you have multiple controllers on an existing uh, single condensing unit uh, or uh, multiple uh, systems that you want to alternate runtime, etc. So, and again, just hitting the back button a couple of times gets me back to the uh, to the home point on the controller. Again, very easy to, to navigate through. If you remember, it's basically broken down into four different columns. You have a variables column, an alarms column, a set points column, and a manual mode column.